In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer all your WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone including videos and photos. For example, if you are using the Android phone and now you want to switch to the iPhone 15 or any iPhone model, then now it's very easy to transfer your WhatsApp data from Android phone by using Google Drive to iOS at home without having any technical knowledge. The software which you will be using is called Tenorshare iCare Phone Transfer which will allow you to transfer every single byte from Android to iPhone or iPhone to Android without losing a single message and without resetting your iPhone. The method is quite easy which I will show you in a couple of minutes. You can also merge messages of Android and iOS by using this application not just WhatsApp but you can also transfer data from Viber Kick and GB WhatsApp from Android to iOS. So first of all all you need to download iCare phone from the official site which I have mentioned down below. The Mac version is also available you can download that if you are using Mac. After downloading just install the application at your desktop and you can see the main interface of Tenorshare iCare phone. So we have got all the applications from which you can transfer data from one to another but in this video we will be transferring data from WhatsApp so let's just click on that. Now connect your Android device from which you will be transferring data to the iPhone. After connecting your device, on the left side we have the backup option as you can see here. After connecting your Android device, on the left side we have the backup option. And here you can see you can make a backup from your device, Google Drive and as well as from your iCloud which can be used at the time when you want to transfer data from iPhone to Android through iCloud. But we will be using the Google Drive feature but before that go to your WhatsApp settings, chat and make a backup of your chat to your Google account. Just make sure the Google account which you are using shouldn't have two-step authentication and if it's enabled, make sure to disable that for a while. The end-to-end -end encryption should be off as well after making the backup of your chat. Now come back to the application and log in into your Gmail account here which you have used for the backup. Now here you will see your chat backups which you have made on the Android device. Just click on your backup which you want to transfer to the iPhone and press the continue button. Now it will download your backup file which shouldn't take that much time but obviously depend on your data size. And after that now log in into your WhatsApp number from which you have created the backup file which we have used in our Android device. After that, now you can see the backup is successfully completed. Now click on the restore button. At this moment, connect your iOS device where you will be transferring your WhatsApp backup. And as you can see, the iPhone tenor has appeared inside the application which we have just connected to the computer. Now just click on restore now. Select your data category which you want to restore. For example, if you want to skip photos, videos, you can unmark them. Then click on the continue button. Now we are almost there, just log in into your iOS device. After logging in, click on the logged in inside the application. And it will start restoring all the data to the iPhone which may take some time and again obviously depends on your data size so let's give it some time. And that's it, the data is successfully restored to the iPhone from Android device by using the Google Drive feature. As you can see, including groups, chat, individual chats, everything has been successfully restored. And that's it, by following this simple step, you can easily restore your WhatsApp data from Google Drive to any iOS device by using the backup feature inside iCareFone transfer. The download link is also available in the description. Just click on that to download 10 or share iCareFone transfer from the official site. So that's it, just let me know your opinion and as well as if you guys have got any question regarding this video, you can ask me in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.